Wise, I say unto you, it's from our Mashiach Gavashai, there is joy in the presence of the angels of the Most High over one sinner that repented. You know? Once again, Luke 15 and 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of the Most High over one sinner that repented. See? The angels are rejoicing. There's joy in the fourth dimension where the angels are over one sinner repenting and changing and becoming a new creature and not remaining the same way as you always have been. The seed of destruction that's getting ready to come on this earth and be a part of it. Hosea 6 and 1. Come and let us return unto the Most High, for we have torn and he will heal us. He has smitten and he will bind us. That's our power. Jeremiah 30. Oh, that we're gonna come back here to Jeremiah 30. So he's met us. In verse 17. Jeremiah 30 and 17. For I restore health unto thee. And I will heal thee of thy wounds. See, the Most High wounded us because we didn't want to follow his law, statute, commandments. He told us what he's going to do to us in Deuteronomy 28 chapter from the 15th verse to the 68th verse. How he's going to destroy us. For I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Because he the one that wounds, he the one that heals said the Most High, because they called thee an outcast. See? They called us an outcast. Saying, this is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. And Zion is the twelve tribes of Israel. That no man seeketh after. Nobody's seeking after us. Everyone that's within the realm of uh, this world and whatever they're doing, they're not exalted as Hebrew Israelites, as what this word says. No, you didn't take, you didn't, you didn't sold out. You know who you are, you sellouts. You done sold out from the most high of the Mashiach Galvashah. And he's like he said, he got 7,000 men that are never going to bow the knee to the wickedness of this world. Never, ever. Complete number of men. Never going to bow down. Going back to Hosea 6 and 1, it says, Come and let us return unto the Most High, for he hath torn, tore us up, and he will heal us. Is he the one that wounds, and he the one that heals. He has smitten, and he will bind us up. He's binding us up together now. After two days, you understand, a day to the Most High is a thousand years. After two thousand years, he said, he will revive us. We've been revived. In the third day, we're in the third day now, y'all. The third day is the third thousandth year from 2000 to 3000. In the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. He raising us up, y'all. Come, Yashirah. He raising us up. But the Most High got to rise first as David always prayed. In them Psalms, when you read them Psalms, he say, Crumb, 
most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Crumb Mashiach Yahweh's shot so Israel can rise. And that's how it's going to go down, brothers and sisters. Without that, we can't rise without the Most High rising us up, without a Mashiach El Shai rising us up. It's got to come through them. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Jeremiah 6, 16. Thus said the Most High Power, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your soul. But they said, we will not walk therein. Nah, you want to continue to walk in the ways of the God of this world. So you can fall with the God of this world, the power of this world. The demons that are set up to send you straight to hell. He said, also, I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet, as we said, bring it forth, that trumpet was a warning, as we bring forth this truth to you, to warn you. But no, y'all wanted to have, y'all might as well go back to church, where there's all love and happiness and joy and all the peace that you think you're getting, and in the end, it's going to be the wrath of the Most High, because you ain't really learning the truth, because you don't fear the Most High. You ain't afraid of the Most High. You only afraid of man. You afraid of how somebody gonna look at you. That's what you care more about. So I say, also I said, watchmen over you saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we were not hearken, we ain't gonna listen. We don't wanna listen. We gonna do whatever we wanna do. Deuteronomy 17 and 15. That's why he called you Sidus to it. Silly and stupid. Mosai said, Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Most High thy power shall choose, one from among thy brethren. That's supposed to be over us. One from among our brethren shalt thou set over the king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. See? Now you got strangers that over your mind the way you think. Because you think just like they want you to think without being around you. They have programmed you to think just like they want you to think. That's why I tell, tell you all the time, you got to be de-demonized. Because some of you that went to school, you really be programmed when you go to their schools. Bam! Come out, you an Edomite. Chocolate covered Edomite. Brown skin, but Edomite inside, because they done programmed you to be just the way they want you to be. A good servant for them. They don't teach you entrepreneurship, how to have your own business, how to do things so you'll have things for yourself. And everybody work for you. <coughs> you be able to raise up your nation. Nah. You learn how to be a good servant. So we ain't supposed to put nobody over us. Not only for us dealing with ruling over us, but our minds, because that's, when you go to, uh, go to Psalms 106, 35, this is what happened to us. He said, learn after what is how we did it, and we still doing it, we still being eat up and so that you or whatever nation, that's the enemy of the Most High, and the haters of the Most High in Psalms, the 83rd chapter. However you doctrinating yourself to be, you still a Gentile. Even if you call yourself a Hebrew Israelite, if you ain't really come out of the way of the thinking, of the way they have you thinking, and when you come up with this, show me in a word where you can vouch and bring forth the understanding of what it says, thus say the Most High the way you think and feel, all your actions. It's got to be from here, from the word of the Most High. And this is what happened to us, Psalms 106 and 35. But we're mingled among the heathen and learn their works. The Most High said, learn not the ways of the Gentiles, but we'll mingle among these heathen and learn their works. And they serve their idols, see, which were a snare unto them. 
all these different religions, a snare to us, the false education, a snare to us. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not against, get me wrong, if you go out and make money, you might as well make the most money you can, but don't be indoctrinated with becoming them, even though you are who you are, because a lot of our people, they are, that's who they are. They change and their whole persona is, you know, they got to be like the Edomites. Like you women, y'all got to get the weeds and want the long hair. What about your own hair? No matter how it is, let it be your own hair. Most I gave you the best hair and you want to be somebody else to fit in. And they want to be like you. They could, I bet you, if most, if most so-called white women could have nappy hair, I bet you they'd rather have your hair than to have their own. They can't do nothing with their hair, but what can they do with it? What can you do with yours? You can make it look like theirs, you can make it look curly, you can do all kinds of things, and go back to what? Nappy! <laughs> but they can't. So here you are looking at someone that, I mean, that's really under you in retrospect of what, how the most I made you with, with, with a body, and here they are getting implants to be like you, and you want to be like them. Come on now, I mean, that's, it's like, it's just twisted how they have it, but that's, that's what it says. But make them on the heathen and learn their works. Think about all the money that's being made when they cut off their hair and end it. And they understand this. They're, they're, they're going to their idols with this hair that y'all putting in y'all head and it's being sacrificed to devils. Straight up. Sacrificed to demons. Because it's all the gods of the nation of idols. They ain't dealing with, they ain't, they ain't praying to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's a fact. So you know, understand this, and overstand this fact. When you put that in your head, remember you putting on your head the same gods that they prayed for, you put in your head. And the most I made you the most finest, beautifulest women in the world. And you are just being yourself. And man, you gonna put putting on these dang on skinny pants, whatever the skinny leg pants, and got them sagging on your thigh. You man, that's infeminine. Well, so I ain't make you like that. Made you be a man. So I said, gird up that lord like a man. Walking around like that, man, that's 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 heartbreaking, man. When I grew up, man, you've been knocked out somewhere. Walking around like that. We had integrity. Wouldn't walk like that. We had power with each other to make sure that we all was in a, in order. No, everybody we was yeah, just you can see you ain't see nobody walking around like that. We ain't had no tattoos and all that. Y'all have learned to wear the heathen. Edomites had tattoos, had they pants hanging off their butt because they had no butt to hold them up. Dang it, what y'all tripping on? Y'all done went crazy, man. Putting on skirts. Now, I'm talking about skirts just like women. All of this gets you to put on a dress. That's what they do. Hollywood, come on, here go a dress for you. Put on this dress. Now you're going to make some money. All the way to, like, like Ben Reeves, let the dude, whatever dude his name is, just do it to him in the butt and, and on film. And you marry, and you go home and tell your wife, hey, baby, uh, this, this, this Edomite gonna have to do me in the butt, and uh, you know, I'm gonna make the money after this. I gotta play a homosexual today, you know, I'm gonna be a faggot, but you know, I still love you, baby. And going to all these parties, you know what you're doing, casting couch and all this stuff, medicine. Man, it's sad. Most, I swear the most I got to bring the wrath down upon this place. Here for bear, I don't care. I hate this place. I hate the way our people are. I hate the way we, we are indoctrinated. Like I said, but we're mingled among the heathen and learn their works. Now you tell me all the works I just gave you is not happening right here in America. And they serve their idols. Which was snare to them. What y'all doing? Y'all doing these movies to get an Oscar? Was that idol? Come on now. I mean, everybody being like, uh, uh, 
the rappers and so forth. Lil Wayne doing all kind of madness. Setting the trend for the future children? Are you serious? This is the role models that you're gonna go by? The things that they're doing on this earth? That's why I said, but we're mingled among the heathen to learn their works and they served their idols which were a snare to them. Yeah, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters and the devils. Now you can tell me that ain't happening now? These people are a bunch of devils, deceitful and evil people. Care how you look at them. The things they go through to get that money and to be where they at, and how they have to go through so much. Woo! It's sad, but it's real. And it's known, it ain't no secret no more. It's just wide spread in the open. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and their daughters, a lot of them doing sacrifices. Don't care. Sacrificing their sons and their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions, man. Went away from the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Went away from Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah, and created their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the most high, not the love of the most high, but the wrath of the most high was kindled against his people insomuch that he abhorred, I mean he hated his own inheritance and gave it to the hand of the heathen. So you want to be like the heathen? He said, I'm giving to the hands of the heathen. And they, that hated them, not loved us, but hated us because we were the chosen people of the Most High and all the chosen people of the Most High ruled over them. This what happened to us. Mm. But see, we want to still be locked into the position that they have put us in and being at the bottom of the barrel and always trying to come up. And then you got those that they have at the top and they let come up and push everybody else down. What they call crabs in the barrel. That's why we gotta be different. We gotta, we gotta, some, some kind of, he's gotta bring a group of brothers through that's gonna see spirits. Gonna see this spirits and not carnally. Because a lot of, I mean, it's got, you got to deal with this law of the spirit. A lot of you don't deal with the law of the spirit. Y'all just deal with formalities, you know. What's really going here, don't, you don't, it don't affect you. Just teaching and it don't really affect you none. You don't feel what is being said. It's, it's a book of life, man. It's about life. Get Romans 13 and 11. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, you better know the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation. Power, our salvation. Rulership, our salvation. Authority, nearer than when we believe. See? Our salvation is nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent. The day is out here. That's why I say you gotta look at the old paths, man. That's what we're looking at. You think we ain't looking at the old paths we read here? It was written over 2,000 years ago. We're reading about how it affects us now. They would have enjoyed for it to be in their time. That's why they said in Acts 1 and 6. Look what they said. We're gonna go back there. Look what they said. They would have they been rejoiced to see it was in their time. It said, when they were therefore come